This is a typical lifestyle of people living in villages along the Ramo River in the Medang province. <laughs> This is Sabu village on a Sunday afternoon. At this village, we meet Anatundi. Six years ago, when she was in grade one, her ambition was to work and raise the money required to pay her way through primary school. And true to herself, she worked hard, and one of those things she did was plant a taro garden. With the help of her elders, she sold the taros at the local market and saved the money for her school fees. When she was not busy in the garden, she helped with the housework and general duties around the house. Anna already has her fingers crossed. She will be selected to continue to grade 7 in the new year. The big question is, will she be able to raise the school fee? It will no longer be just 20 kina for the whole year. The word is, the fee is 130 kina. In the rural areas where the cash economy is not such a big deal, the rate of school fees charged are not so much different to those in urban areas. This is one single factor which denies many rural children their right to have a good education. Anna's father, 